make my COVID masks. So the first thing that you're going to need is a pattern. I am using the face mask slash cover pattern from Patrick Lou's Studios and I will include his website in the description down below if you wanted to pick this up yourself. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, this is just what I bought to make masks, face masks. Um, he has multiple sizes on here, ranging from large men to toddlers, so that's good. So you're going to need the pieces in the size that you want cut out. You're going to need some fabric, some pins, a press, or even an iron. I am using this wooden press made for sewing, and a marker or chalk or something to mark on the fabric with. And finally, you will need a sewing machine or you could hand stitch this I'm sure you can even do this with glue if you wanted but I'm going to be using a sewing machine all right let's get started so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is make sure that your fabric is folded in half and then you're gonna lay out your pieces to cut So you're going to want to lay out your pieces so that you can sketch around them. I'm using a marker because I thought it would be easier to see. Next, you're going to want to cut out the pieces, so you will need some scissors for that. And hold the fabric together while you're doing this, uh, so that the fabric doesn't separate and you keep your two pieces the same size. And there we go. Those are the four pieces that we need to make this mask. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is put the right sides together and sew down the front of these pieces. So matching sides. And on my fabric, there is no right side because this is a petite, which means that it is printed in a way that the ink soaks all the way through the fabric. But, um, if your fabric does have a wrong side, make sure that the wrong sides are facing out for this.
So next I am going to cut little slits all along the sides of the fabric just on the seam here just so that when we turn it the other way the curve is nice and pretty. I love this fabric. I think it would be really cool and perfect for Decora, so maybe I will give that a shot. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is turn the pieces right ways around and get the seam nice and pretty. Awesome. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is take the smaller piece, so piece with a tail that is shorter, and I'm going to hem just these straight edges. And again, make sure you're hemming them in ways so that the seam is going to be on the same side as the seams from earlier. Okay, next thing that we're gonna do is top stitch. So we're gonna spread the mask as if it were going to be on our faces, and on the back side, you're gonna push the seam all the way to one side, and you're going to stitch along the front. Okay, now what you're going to do is put the right sides together so you're going to match the seam with the seam. And I'm going to actually pin it in place for this. Same thing on the bottom. And then I like to pin the edges as well.
So I'm going to sew this way along the top and this way along the bottom to attach our mask together. Now, as you can see, it is sewn along the top and the bottom. I'm gonna do a couple clips up at this top edge so that it can curve as well, and then we'll turn it right side in. The next step we're gonna do is we are going to top stitch the top and bottom. And while we're doing this, we're gonna take the leftover edges from the long tailed pieces and we're going to hem those. So I'm gonna sew all the way from the edge here to the edge on this side and vice versa on the bottom. Sorry, my phone died there. So I finished the top stitch and then the last thing I did was folded the fabric on the edge in to create a pocket to put the ribbon through. So now there's a pocket in the center of the mask so that you could place a surgical mask in and there's a pocket on either side where you can put a drawstring or in my case, a ribbon. I'm gonna be using this 3 eighths of an inch ribbon today. I'm going to cut myself arm's length of it so in my case it's about five feet and with the ribbon ends in one hand and a candle lighter in the other I'm going to finish the edges very carefully so you're just trying to slightly melt the edges on the ribbon so that you get a nice finished edge that won't fray. And I'm feeding them through the bottom because I'd like to be able to tie this mask on on top of my head so that the bow is all cute and fluffy.
these masks, I also made some accessory using plastic chain and beads and fishing wire. Uh, if you would like to see a tutorial on how I made these, I would be happy to do one for you guys. And I'm just going to put them on by placing them on the ends of the ribbon. Now I'm going to walk you through how I put them on. So I'm going to take it from the back where the pockets are. And you can see the way that we put the ribbons in. In the bottom there is a loop, so I'm going to put that over my head so that the pockets are facing the inside against my face. And then pull your hair out from it. And then put the mask on your face. And if you have accessories like me, pull them down. And then you can secure it to the top of your head with a bow. Very cute. I did end up changing out the yellow and black accessory chains for these pink and blue ones. I just thought they matched a lot better with the rainbow aesthetic that was going on here. But these are not permanent. I can easily take them off and replace them with these ones whenever I like. So this is a really cool way to accessorize these masks. I think that these masks are very flattering with their shape in the nose area. I think it's really form-fitting around the neck for me and I think that this is gonna work really really well for what I need. I'm very happy with it. to take off the mask all you have to do is release the bottom and pull on the mask and it'll come right off so the cool thing about this mask is once you tie it uh, if you tied it correctly you don't have to ever tie it again it's not something that you constantly have to fumble with so you could tie a really really nice pretty bow and leave it um, you could always attach velcro or snaps to the back the world is your oyster with these masks, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with these. I have made a couple more of them, so I guess I will give you a little montage of what I've made and how I've accessorized them. So yeah, let's go. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching, and if you like what you saw in this video, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, please. I am still growing, and I am posting a lot of kawaii content, so look forward to that. I sure am. Uh, thank you so much for watching again. Yeah. <laughs> what I need is some pest control to... <laughs> See ya.